Good morning. It is 7 a.m. and we are on our way to Batu Caves. It's about a 15 minute drive from our hotel, the Renaissance, and we are so excited to see the steps and all the beautiful colors. <laughs> It is very, very hot and steamy in Malaysia. We are currently at Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur. Yes, it is stunning. When we were driving along the highway, we weren't even, even thinking about like the caves gonna be right by the roads. And we we're thinking like it's gonna be something remote, but it's actually not. And it's built into a limestone cliff. So there are caves and temples in there. Yeah. Um, it, the entire premise is I think they charge you an uh, entry ticket to go into like the caves in specific. But if you look at the iconic rainbow color steps, it's actually free just to like walk around and, and check out the beautiful landscape. We just climbed up all the steps of the rainbow colored Batu Caves. And the steps are just so steep and worth it because we just walked into the cave right behind and it is absolutely stunning. The view is really awesome. This limestone cave goes up at least 10 to 20 more floors. And there are like bats flying around. There are people making prayers in the temple right now. And I believe there are four different temples here that we're gonna go check out soon. But we just wanna give you a heads up of like the summit of the stairs, it's worth climbing for. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, the view is great from up top, so make sure to check it out. There's also a lot of chickens, pigeons, and monkeys. They're super cute. Tell them about the monkey experience. Uh, the monkey earlier opened up one of the trash bins right behind me and took out a banana. And right after that, his friend came in, went in, picked up a bottle, opened the bottle, and had a drink. Because it's really hot. <laughs> and he needed a drink. So, that was really impressive.
we're gonna get local breakfast. Let's go. So at first we were trying to get some wonton mee at wonton mee 168 which is located really close to our hotel. Um, it's a cute little shop along the side of the street and uh, there's just like two people cooking and all the tables were taken. There's at least like 20 tables and yet they were all full. So we know it's a very popular spot uh, but we're gonna go try to find something else. It's like a thin crepe, a layer of rice crepe that's wrapping uh, turnip and all a bunch of vegetables. I can see cucumber, carrots, and uh, a lot of crunchy stuff in it, which is really good. And it's like a layer of uh, garlic sauce, poison sauce, and a little chili. And then it's all goodness in one wrapped together. So let's dig in. Go, go. less than 15 US dollars for all his food and it's just so good that like I, I can't even finish this all right we are on our way back to our hotel to check out and then we are headed to the Le Meridian but a thing about breakfast we just had is that most people do not speak English, especially the stall vendors. So just be extra careful and order the right things. Um, we accidentally ordered way too much and everyone who was sitting around us was staring at these, these two foreigners 
ordering so much food just for two people. We had six pairs of chopsticks at our table, <laughs> okay? They went crazy and we're just like, wow, so much food. So anyways, um, everything was delicious. My favorite being the popian um, because B has talked about it all the time, but I personally haven't experienced an authentic version. So um, definitely a thing to try out when you are in Malaysia and um, exploring. So we're gonna go check out now and head to the next hotel.